In a moment of passionate dissent, anti-Israel protesters made their voice heard loud and clear at a Senate hearing on October 31st, as top advisers of President Joe Biden sought additional funding for Israel. The proceedings were repeatedly disrupted by a group of protesters vehemently denouncing American support for Israel. The congressional hearing commenced with a powerful statement as anti-war demonstrators raised their red-tainted hands in a show of solidarity. Their voices echoed through the chambers demanding an immediate ceasefire and the protection of Gaza's children. They chanted in unison, cease fire now and protect children of Gaza. But their most resounding cry was one of condemnation stop funding genocide. Later, when questioned about the possibility of a ceasefire, Secretary of State Antony Blinken defended the current approach, arguing that a ceasefire might only serve to help Hamas regroup. These challenging moments at the hearing underscores the complex nature of U.S. foreign policy. In the backdrop of these passionate exchanges, President Joe Biden requested a substantial $106 billion in funding to support ambitious plan for Ukraine, Israel and bluster U.S. border security. His top advisers, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, testified before the Senate Appropriation Committee in a session that exemplified the enduring debate over America's role in the international arena.